segment of this business as well. And we are seeing City actually raising their price target to $115. That's up from $86. And they have a buy rating on the shares, obviously talking about the beat, but also the strength when it comes to the licensing business. And they think that strength can actually carry you through into 2025, Nicole. So it's a remarkable move to the upside. Let's see if it's going to hold. We are still seeing a lot of buying flow going into this name today. All right, thank you. Two big movers, one up, one down. Thank you, Kevin Green, Senior Markets Correspondent. It's time for a spotlight on some of the big names we know, Tesla, NVIDIA, Meta. Some you may be bullish, some you may be bearish. Here to explain, Melissa Armo, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh. I'm glad you're with us today because there was a time where you were on with us and really couldn't find a pick in the market because there was no clarity. Today, um, you're on with us, and you used to do a lot of picks, right? I, I mean, it was just a moment in time where um, it, was, it was a tough market time. Now you have bullish and bearish picks for today. What's different? Well, I think, again, this is a market where you have to find selective things. If you're willing to go long and short in different things in different sectors, you're going to do a heck of a lot better than if you're looking for any market direction. The market is in a very, very tight range. It's trying to break out higher, but it's really not doing it. So you were talking about NVIDIA. I definitely love NVIDIA. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week. NVIDIA is going to have a nice pop. It's finally, finally got over that $700 number, and this could really have a run-up. And if that happens, then it's going to pull up the overall market. It's going to have a nice big rally for the market. And the other thing that I like also is Meta. Remember, Meta had earnings last week, and it had a huge day that day. Then it dropped off, but I'm telling you, today that stock is coming back again. I still see 500 as a target in sight for Meta, even though that seems crazy from where it was the, the night before the earnings and then afterwards. People are buying the stock. It's not going lower anytime soon. And a new pick I have for today as well is Wynn. Wynn is up a lot today. Wynn had earnings last night. That is a beautiful, beautiful green bar today on Wynn. I think Wynn is higher. And again, this is it doesn't even matter what the market does. Wynn is a nice long. So the names you like, NVIDIA, Meta, Amazon, JP Morgan, and Wynn. Um, and you know, is there a theme to some of these names? Because now you're being more selective, right, on how you're not saying buy the S&P or buy the NASDAQ. Um, there's something about these names that stand out to you, right? Well, the theme is go with the trend. Go with what's actually happening. You know, so many people tend to want to buy the dip or go with things with the market. In my opinion, while the market is bullish, it could drop off at any point in time because there's too many critical factors that are hanging over the market set. One of them happens to be Fed, the Fed, and you were talking about clarity. Well, yes, Jay Powell finally came out and said that they're not going to lower rates in March, which I never thought that he would, but a lot of people did. If he comes out then again and changes his tune, maybe in the summer or right before the summer, like in June, and says, no, we're not going to lower rates yet. Again, the market could have a very negative reaction to that. So I think the theme is go with the trend of what's happening here with the stocks that you decide to day trade or do options in or invest, because you're not going to be able to go long everything, even in a bullish market, just like you can't short everything when the market's bearish or like 2022 when the market was selling off. You have to look at what's happening in the overall trend of all these specific stocks. And I also want to bring up PayPal, because that's a new one I didn't talk about earlier. That is falling today. We were discussing that a few minutes ago. Man, does that look terrible. I mean, that stock, I wouldn't even be shocked if in the next week that stock is at a $50 price point. It's tanking. I don't know why people are using it less is the only reason. The, the negative thing about PayPal is really the fees that they charge. If you've ever used PayPal, they yeah. charge a hefty 3% yeah. fee. And I think people are just yeah. deciding, hey, we don't want to pay this. Right, right. Um, let's get to some of the names that you're bearish on. Um, there's a lot of Tesla folks out there. They love it, um, even though it's had some pullbacks. Is it a buy when it's 20% cheaper? And you say no. No, because it still could be lower. Tesla, again, overall, talking about going with the trend, Tesla's in a downtrend. I don't know if you talked about this a couple of days ago. There was news out. It wasn't just a lawsuit last week about Tesla that didn't get found in Elon Musk's favor. And now they're discussing the fact that he's talking about different people doing drugs. I don't know why that's news to anyone. He's never, he's never made it a secret about the drugs that he's done. But for whatever reason... Musk is a target on his back, and so I don't know what happens if something if something happens with the leadership role in that company because 
Tesla needs Musk, in my opinion. And I think that overall, that stock is on shaky ground. It's still in a downtrend. Yeah. Yeah. And Boeing? What about Boeing? Remember, Boeing had earnings last week, and they didn't give any guidance. How can you come out and not give any guidance? They've had a lot of mechanical issues. They also are having some issues where people are going to start to go. The unions were talking about the fact that they that they want some raises. So I think the problem with Boeing is that, again, overall, looking at the chart, Boeing is in a strong downtrend, too. While people love to buy that stock and it's not going anywhere anytime soon, that doesn't mean this is necessarily a great place to buy it. If you really do like Boeing and you want to go long it, I would wait and see until it gets at least significantly over the 220, 225 area, which it's nowhere near right now. It's having its rally, but the market's up today. And when you come out and you have no guidance on earnings, to me, that's a negative takeaway for the stock. Right, understood. Melissa Armo, great to see you. The stock swoosh, thank you always for joining us. Coming up next, the disruptors. We're watching Uber, new all-time highs there as well. George Silas will have the very latest on the earnings and what to watch in example trade. We'll be right back.